Hey guys, my name is Iris and welcome to my first video on Abnormal Person. This video is going to be a whole video that will include manga, anime, and video games related things I have gotten throughout the month. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's move on to the first clip. I just got a package from Barnes & Nobles and what I got was the Scum Spillin Soft Saving System Volume 4 Special Edition. This is the last volume of the series and I'll show you guys what the goodies are. First up, we have the four postcards of the novel covers from all th four volumes. And on the back, we have Binkula as a cat, which is really cute in my opinion. Next up, we have a sticker sheet and a bookmark of both couple couples. And then we have two fold-out posters. One is of this traditional Chinese marriage, I believe. And this one, it's just them by the lake with the umbrella. It's beautiful. I do believe these two fold-out posters are by a guest artist. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so I just got back from Barnes & Noble's trip. I got print volume 2 of Prince Freya and volume 8 of The King's Beast. Can't wait to dive into both series. They're both historical-like. This is more Asian and this is more European, but I would recommend both to anyone who likes historical stuff. Hi guys! So I just got back from a shopping trip from Barnes & Nobles with my friends and this is everything I got. First up, we have volume 8 of Moriarty the Patriot. It's a crime-like series based on the Sherlock Holmes series. I love this and I'm kind of sad that the anime only has one season. And then I got the Apothecary Diaries. Sorry for my wrong pronunciation. I'm really do apologize for it. One and two are looks amazing and I've been recommended to this by many of my friends since I like The King's Beast and Prince Freya which are both historical like too. Hi guys, so I just got back from shopping trip to Book Off. Book Off is a Japanese store that sells stationery, manga, anime, books, both English and Japanese and everything, most of the things there are discounted and mostly secondhand. What I got was volume 7 and 8 of Kuroko's Basket. I just saw a great deal for this. I do not have any other volume in the series. I do plan on getting it eventually since I love the anime. Next up, we got Lovesick Ellie volume 1. I heard this was a really cute shoujo and I can't wait to start it. And the next thing I got was a Tropical Fish Shurns for the Snow volume 6. Now this volume completes my series. This is a completed GL-like series that has a total of 9 volumes. I would recommend to recommend this to anyone who likes GL, but they don't really get together in the end. So that was kind of disappointing, but I think it was still worth buying. And next up, I got volumes 3 and 4 of Prince Freya. I recently just read volume 2, I will give my opinions on that in another video, but I really enjoyed it. And so yeah, so I got volume 3 and 4, and lastly I got Our Sun, I think Our Sun is Gay. I heard this was a really cute and the perspective was from the mother's side, which is kind of intriguing in my opinion. And I'll see how the series goes. Hi guys, so I just got back from an anime convention. It's kind of a spin-off like convention. It was called Anime Expo and this was the ticket or whatever you would like to call it. Badge, I believe. And so my spending habits in conventions kind of differs. It really matters on which hall I enter first. In this case, I entered the vendor hall, vendor hall first. So I didn't get much in the artist alley, it could be the opposite in other conventions. I just really have a hard time managing my money to only bring a certain amount. 
and let's see what I got. First up, we have this Real Close Illustration art book. It's a compilation of art from multiple different artists. And next up, we have this Penguin Highway Go 3 art book like things. So, first up, we have this, which is just art. And then we have this flip book. Yep, here, production designs. And lastly, we have this complete films film storyboard collection. Along with this purchase, they gave me a freebie of this the silent voice poster like thing, which I love. Next up, I went to this store that was selling like your toys, collectible toys, I believe. They call it art toys. I'll link the store down below. And first up, I got this really cute closed eyes boy, I believe. This came with a metallic card, metal card, I believe. It's actual metal-like substance. And next up, we have these two elemental-like figures. A snake, rainbow girl, and the fire. I'm not going to assume this person's gender, to be honest. And I also got this girl in a ramen cup, which I thought was really cute. And there was this like pulling thing, like if you know Genshin, you if you paid like fifteen dollars, and then they would give you a card, a letter corresponding to a prize, and I got a Rengoku keychain from Demon Slayer, and also these two Genshin keychains of Albedo and Xiao. And next to that, I got again, a pack of Genshin cards, and I got what I got inside was Guru and this event card from the Big Sky event. Scaramouche is right there. <laughs> and then I got, I believe, around 10 packs of different just the Wonderland cards. I'll do these first. So these are the ceremonial robes. I did get this little school uniform one, which I think was really cute. Cool, or cute, whatever you want to call him. Otherwise, he's going to get mad at you. <laughs> Got him. I did get the bowl of Azubu. I got one pack of the alchemy clothes, which I got Ace, one of my favorite characters, Epel, in the chibi form. The next were Storm, dorm uniforms, not Storm, sorry. Got this, Scabrabia, so got the whole Undersea group. Got Jack, Ruggy, Bell. And got some teachers. And this was everything I got in the in the vendor hall. I like I said I didn't get much in the artist alley. All I got was these three posters of MXTX novels. This was Grandmaster Cultivation. This is Heaven's Official Blessing. And this is another Heaven's Official Blessing. I'll have the art tag like right here. And yeah, that's all I got at this convention. See you guys in the next clip. Hi guys, so I just got back from Target, which is kind of funny. They do sell manga and it's usually 20% off. And since it was Black Friday, they had buy one, get one 50% off, which was a really good deal. What I picked up was Hanako, Toilet Bound Hanako Volume 2. And Blue Lock Volume 1.
Hi guys, so I just got back from a Barnes & Noble's trip. What I picked up was Marshall Volume 9, The Apothecaries Volume 3, and Blue Exorcist Volume 10. So I've been struggling collecting the earlier versions of Blue Exorcist, especially on Volume 3. If you guys could help me down in the comments, that would be really helpful. So a little fun fact about me is that I do speak a different language, a second language if you might call it, and that is Mandarin Chinese. And so I brought some Chinese volumes on off of AliExpress. What I got was the English title is The Little Mushroom, Volume 1 and 2, which came with these extras. So the extras included two sticker sheets, one bookmark, two postcards of this amazing art, and one large holdout poster. Oh. So aside from these two volumes, I also got well. The dog's amulet, which omelet amulet, which came with other goodies. So these goodies included these two tiny, this big acrylic stand and this tiny one, and this acrylic keychain. These plastic-like art prints. Two bookmarks. And a shikishi. Hey guys, so I just got back from Barnes and Noble's again, and I got volume two of the Scum Villain Self Scum Villain Self Saving System. Sorry, that really is a mouthful. And if you watched the earlier clips in the video, I got volume four. I actually only owned volume one and four to that point, so <laughs> I couldn't really read it. And I'm happy to dive back into this series. Hi guys, so that was the last clip of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And ring the bell to get notified of future videos. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Please stay healthy in this pandemic, which is still going on, unfortunately. And have a nice day.